Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. So, today you join me. I'm on a beautiful part of Ireland, which is the Copper Coast. And forecasts told me that it was foggy here. So I said, you know what? I'll take the opportunity. I'll head down and see what it would be like for fog. But I have no fog. What I have is some plain, flat gray skies. And I actually don't have much either, by the way, of movement in the water and the tide as well as that low tide. So. A number of things going to be kind of against me from the ideal situation today but nonetheless still think I'm going to get some nice shots. So let's go, let's see how we get on on this beautiful part of the Copper Coast. Now that I'm down at the beach, it's not looking too good if I'm being honest. To this side over here, I have some beautiful coastlines, but I have some sea stacks that are over in this direction, and also on this direction, I have more sea stacks. But what I need around them is water. Now, below me as well here is just debris of seaweed, so I don't think it's gonna be able to much that I can photograph here, but close enough to where the water is, I do see some shallow areas. So I'm going to go and look and see what I can get from there. I think the tide actually is going to be coming in, which is good. So hopefully I'll get a bit of movement in the water, albeit so subtle, but definitely going to be something to challenge me anyway today. And I'm up for that. And I think I'm still going to get some nice shots. So I'm going to take a walk down here close enough to the water, first of all, and see what we can find from there. So I think I've actually managed to find my first composition here. So looking at the uh, water's edge, I found a bit of a rock pool and what struck me straight away was how vibrant green the algae is that's on the rocks. And then within the rock pool as well, there's some lovely boulders and such like that that aren't normally visible because you get the uh, reflection of the grey sky. But with the polarizer and just turning the polarizer, then it removes that glare, allows you to be able to see into the water. And I've taken a standard exposure time, I think it was 1 15th of a second. Then I went up to two and a half seconds and then I put on my 10 stop and I've gone for a 30 second exposure. I can do that because the water is so calm, but I want to play around and just see what type of different shot that I'm going to get. Maybe I'll prefer the first one, the second one, or even the longest exposure, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, they're in portrait orientation anyway here now. I'll give you a look at all three images and let me know which one you prefer. So I'm still in the same rock pool actually now, but I noticed on the left-hand side of the rock pool, there was a couple of rocks that had some barnacles on them as well. So it looks quite nice uh, looking at it here. So I've quickly now just changed out, put my camera in more or less a downward position and just focusing in on this area here. I think there's some lovely details, nice story to be told within this kind of rock pool itself anyway. But what I've had to do is to focus stack. So I've taken three images, 
One which is close by here to get the detail in this really vibrant green algae that's going to be at the base of the frame. Then the centre for these beautiful rocks and then more algae at the top of the image. I've also used the polarizer to take off the glare that's going to be coming from this side here just to kind of give it more of a balanced image um, and also as well it's very very vibrant uh, naturally as well but the polarizer is going to bring out more vibrancy within the image as well. So yeah second shot same kind of rock pool. I'll give you a look at this now and then we'll see what else I can find. I've come across now another rock pool actually and this area is the copper coast and it's known obviously for the rocks being a copper colour and what I found inside in one of these rock pools here is one rock brightly kind of orange yellowy colour surrounded as well by multicolours of seaweed and then a nice framing as well of some really really vibrant greens and then some yellows as well also but as you can see here I have my tripod in a pretty precarious position I've actually had to swap out from my uh, normal tripod that I use for seascape because the legs have actually started to seize and I didn't want to trust it to come across this area because as you can see the camera is purely at the mercy of the tripod in fact if any tripod manufacturers out there want to give me a new tripod to try for seascape I'd be more than happy as Gavin Hardcastle would say send me an old message you know get in touch but anyhow um, what I've now seen here is by using the polarizer it really really helps but it doesn't actually get rid of all of the glare so ordinarily here there's a huge glare but by using the polarizer and making those slight adjustments I can then adjust where the area is going to lose the actual glare in total and I'm taking a shot here as well just at a relatively fast shutter speed I'm having to focus stack one on the bottom here and then one further up within the frame but yeah I think it's a, a nice shot a um, bit precarious obviously right now but I'll be happy once I get the shot in the bag I'll give you a look at it now and then we'll see what else we can find and how else we can utilize the polarizer for our seascape photography It's extremely warm, I have to take off one layer, but um, still summer I suppose, what do I expect? But keeping in the theme here of these um, copper colours, I found a larger boulder here and it's pretty much all on its own, but it's surrounded by darker seaweed. So there's not much nice colours within that, but still I think it's a nice contrast within there and it's in a relatively flat area as well. Now, utilising the polarizer, it allows me to take again all of that glare that's off this water and then it also really brings out the vibrancy within this rock. What I'll actually do is I'll switch over here to this camera and I'll give you a look at the difference that the polarizer actually makes. Right, so as you see here, this is where I've got the image framed up and there's a huge glare that's coming uh, right from here and all the way around it. Now, the image is manual focus at the moment and I'm focusing on that rock, but if you watch here, as I will turn the polarizer, you're going to see that glare will disappear. Now, it's a fine line between going too far and the right amount. So you can see that the left hand side here now is going darker and darker, and so is the right hand side. Now, if I go too far, you can see that it gets brighter again. So it's a point about bringing it to exactly the position that you want it to be. Just did a tiny, tiny, tiny bit uh, up here, but not much, and another tiny bit as well over uh, here, but again, not much. But that's really the, to show the, the power of a polarizer. So again, you know, no polarization, and 
with the polarizer you can take away all the glare and you can see right into that water so yeah i'll give you a look at this shot next and i spot two other ones now as well that i want to find and take some shots of those also So for the next one actually, it was a rock that was right behind the rock that I photographed a moment ago. But this one has a number of uh, limpets that are stuck onto it. And what I've done is I've taken one from above and now I've actually, as you can see, gone down extremely low. And I'm just purely focusing on this and again using the polarizer to be able to take away any of the glare, if not all of the glare. It's not possible at all times. but. Um, at the moment as well now my settings are a relatively quick enough speed it's one tenth of a second i'm at f8 my iso is at 100 and i'm just using my polarizer but i think this is a lovely shot it was right behind me as well from the last one and because this water is so calm around me as well i don't have to worry about anything at all because it's like a lake as such because it's been protected from the breakwater that you see here in the distance but yeah i think you know from a kind of a afternoon that had some other expectations what i got actually today i think is totally different So I think now I found my final composition from a very interesting actually afternoon here amongst the rock pools but this particular one here has quite a lot that's going on within that you've got two boulders and you've got what seems like palm trees they're not but it's kind of spreading out within the um, the rock pool also and I felt as if I kind of needed to get a bit of elevation so I've walked around here to the higher up rocks that are there took a shot from there then I went to the front of it and took a shot back this way and I've settled now on where we are right now but again something I'd rarely do is to put the center column up but I've done that just to get the extra bit of height that I think it needs in relation to it um, I think it's a nice shot overall and I don't even need to focus stack it because I'm far enough away from it but definitely something that the polarizer again has helped to be able to get rid of that glare and to bring out the colors um, i think i'm going to finish up this episode thank you very very much as always for watching if it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and if you want to watch some other content click on this video here i'd really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button there so until the next time schlange